Aristotle once said, Those who know, do. Those that understand, teach. Good day everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is your host, The Curious Transient. This video is very personal to me since I am an OFW or what we call a overseas Filipino worker working as an English and science teacher here in the land of smiles, Thailand. Before we get to anything else, here's a bit of disclaimer. This video's intention is not to create a division between teachers of different nationalities in Thailand. This video is for my people, the Filipino people, the Filipino teachers in Thailand, to be precise. I do not hold any ill will towards other teachers of different cultures. I even have friends of different nationalities that also taught at my school. That goes without saying that this is merely an opinion from me and other Filipino teachers that share my sentiments. That being said, let's start this discussion. A bit of trivia to those who don't know. Thailand has started to employ more foreign teachers to teach English to its students and citizens. The Filipino people, wanting to improve the quality of life for their families, have decided to take this opportunity to go away from home and teach here. Does it sound okay thus far? Good. I'm gonna tell you something that has been bothering me since I came here to teach. It's that Filipino teachers are being paid less than other nationalities. In fact, we can say that we are considered the other alternatives to what we call here as NES or native English speaker. Now, I personally don't believe that this is fair. To those who don't agree with me, you can stop watching this video because the things that I'm gonna say, though I will say it in the nicest way possible may offend some people. I believe that there should be no divide to NES and NNES or the non-native English speakers for Filipino teachers. I also believe that Filipino teachers are one of the best teachers here in Thailand and I'm gonna give you three reasons why. Reason number one, work ethic. I am part of a Facebook group called Teachers in Thailand. Now the majority of the members of the said group are what we consider to be NES. Older NES teachers complain about younger NES teachers because some of them have what we call a weekend disease. Now what is a weekend disease? It's when some NES teachers magically get sick on Fridays and on Mondays despite there being no flu epidemic in their area during that time. Well, of course there is no timetable when people get sick but a lot of Thai teachers and school administrators as well as NES and NNES notice that some English teachers get sick while still posting on social media about their weekend escapades to Pattaya, Phuket, or Chiang Mai. I didn't know that those places are full of diseases that can make you sick on Fridays and Mondays. Maybe they should not allow tourists to go there during those days to avoid a weekend disease. <laughs> All jokes aside, I have personally experienced this with my fellow teachers, and some of them even confided to us that they didn't just want to work after having an escapade on the weekend. Now, now, everyone has the right to rest and relaxation. But for me, having your vacation escapade during the middle of the term loses all the teaching momentum they have with their students, as well as losing the short-term memory of their students with their lessons. 
Some of them even take a leave off without preparing a worksheet for their students to do while they're gone. For us Filipinos, we don't do that. When we want to take a vacation, we do so in advance. We inform the school administrators in advance and prepare worksheets for our students in advance so that the student would not have any problems with getting substitute teachers in our absence and that the students can still retain their learning from previous lessons. Another example of our Filipino work ethic is that we do not quit during a school period. In my experience, in our school, we found out that a NES teacher that just started teaching in our school suddenly quit because, according to her, she missed her family a lot and wanted to go home. But then, we found out from a Facebook post of our past NES teachers that changed schools that they welcomed the said NES teacher on the same week. So, she did not just lie. She lied and used her family as an excuse to go to another high-paying job. In Asian cultures, we don't do that. We give our one-month notice in advance to get the school enough time to find another teacher. Sadly, here in the land of smiles, they let NES teachers leave anytime because, as the head of the recruitment agency said, we can stop them from leaving even if they signed a valid contract. A valid contract that prohibits them from leaving to apply for other jobs. So what is the use of a the contract then? We Filipino teachers simply don't do this. We are grateful with the opportunity this country has provided us, so we respect their cultures and customs, especially with teaching. So with this, I can say that our Filipino work ethic is second to none. Reason number two, education. Before Filipinos could teach here in Thailand, we had to have our documents authenticated by our graduating school with a red ribbon and we need to have a valid teacher's license to stay here for more than two to three years. That means the Filipino teachers are not only experienced, but they are licensed to teach. They took up a four-year course in college, took the teaching licensure exam in the Philippines, then we have to take a TOEIC or the test of English for international communication so that we could judge our English proficiency level so that we could teach here. Now, compare that to our NES counterparts, some of them, they took up two years of community college with a different degree than education and still get paid more than us. If you don't think there is nothing wrong with that, then please, please stop watching this video at once. To those of you who remained watching this video, please answer this simple question. Who would you like to teach you? A person who will also learn this particular skill even without having the luxury of being born into it and having studied it for many years. Or a person who was just born into it and having no educational background of the said skill. Now, now, I'm not generalizing here. I know that there are also NES who took up education in college, but not all of them. Some of them even go to Kaosan University just to cover up the fact that they don't have a college diploma. And to those who don't know, Kaosan Road is a well-known area in Thailand where people can get their own made diplomas from different schools. Or, in layman's terms, a fake diploma. I might even guess that NES who actually studied the art of teaching is less than 50% of the total NES teachers in Thailand. Now again, this is just my guess and personal opinion. Don't take it as a fact. It's more of an observation. 
we Filipino teachers know more dialects than most of NES teachers. We know how to study and we know how to teach English. We are not born into it. Our parents did not speak English to us 24-7 that allowed us to memorize the words and their meanings. We learned it through simple hard work. We also started studying from kindergarten up until college or university. But you know what? The land of smiles still considers us as less capable English teachers, despite our education. And do you know why that is? It's because of the accent. And that leads us to reason number three. Reason number three. Accent. Now, this is the most controversial reason of all, since this is the reason that the Thai people seem to think that we can't teach proper English, despite the Philippines being in the consistent top 10 of all nations that speak English. Because we don't have any British, American, or Canadian English accent. But before we dive deeper into this, what is an accent and what causes it? Well, an accent, according to the internet, is a distinct mode of pronunciation of a language, especially one associated with a particular nation, locality, or social class. Now, what causes an accent? According to science, there is no main reason why people have specific accents. Some speculate that the accent is simply caused by the place where you are living in. Since a group of people speak a certain way, the individual can mimic or copy the way they speak. Now, that being said, Thai people live in Thailand. A lot of NES and NNES live here. With the sheer number of accents available, Thai people should have no problem with their accents, right? Wrong. They have a distinct accent because they live in Thailand. More often than not, Thai people with foreign accents learn their accents by living in the foreign country. Some Thai students, despite being studied with a foreign teacher most of their life, still don't have the foreign accent simply because they are living in a country with its own distinct accent. Now, the thing is, I do not understand why people like foreign accents since most of our communications nowadays are online or written. Even important documents are written and not said. And I cannot stress this enough. There is no accent in writing. I repeat, there is no accent in writing. No matter how good of an accent you have, if you write it down, it's still in basic English. We Filipinos take pride in our basic English skills. We can teach as well as any NES how to read and write in English. I might even say some of us teach better than some NES teachers. It's true that Filipinos have a neutral accent. Now I ask you. Is that such a bad thing? With all the different accents in the world, the best accent to learn English from, in my opinion, is a neutral one. The neutral accent allows the students to learn how to read and write the words without mixing it up with how other accents speak it in their own way. Like how Canadians say, about, when it's read as about. They mean basically the same thing, but the correct way to say it is with a neutral accent. Again, I am not going after any nationality here. I am merely stating why accents aren't a big deal. In fact, online, some NES speakers prefer talking with a Filipino with a neutral accent than other Asian accents alone, since it is easier to understand. Thank you for listening to me rant about why I think Filipino teachers are one of the best teachers here in Thailand. I could actually add more, but I don't want to. I think I have stated my opinion in the nicest way I can. 
And at the end of the day, it's not our call to make. It's up to the country we are working in. Do I want the country to be more fair in terms of salaries? Of course. Now, do I think it will happen? I honestly don't. I could tell you why, but I think I need another video for that one. Leave a comment if you want another video about why I don't think the country will ever pay Filipino teachers fairly. If you like what I did here, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is The Curious Transient, signing off. You are the best to me, darling.